Sparkle Squad, this is Monica and I am here to show you a new kit from my friends at Softlex Company and they have sent me the Turtle Love Mystery Design Kit. Look at the color hint that they give you in the, the paper and the ribbon here. This is really going to be fun, I think. And it's a turtle. So thank you so much, Softlex. I really appreciate that. So it looks like, based on the paperwork here, that the next kit will be called Book Lovers, and that will be available to purchase on May the 29th when they've actually revealed their Turtle Love kit on their YouTube channel. Make sure that you check that out because these kits do actually sell out pretty fast, but the Book Lovers, that's going to be right up my alley too. So that's the thing. They always pick all these great themes. They actually will open the kit live on their YouTube and Facebook and then do a make while they're, you know, doing everything there together all in one video. And that is usually at um, 3 p.m. Pacific time, but it's on the last Wednesday of every month. Okay, so as you know, my favorite thing is to get the hint and to see the packaging. Because it really is like I'm opening a gift every time I get one of these kits. And I mean, literally, this is a gift from Soft Lips to me right now. But the kits that I've purchased, these here in the background, which I will be posting separate videos. This is the Exotic Blooms kit. These are the Special Tea kits. I purchased two of those because I love the whole concept of that. And then I got the Tree of Life kit. And I mean, you can see they do all the packaging, especially how cute is this with the little leaves, the ribbon for that. They just keep wowing me with every kit. I'm assuming there might be a turtle charm in here based on the paperwork. Look how cute that is. Oh, I can't go on. <laughs> well, yes, I can. So we can see what's in here. This coupon will be good through the 27th, but by the time that you actually see this video of me unboxing this, the coupon will be expired. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you purchase these kits. Always make sure you look on the back side of your design kit content paper to get $5 off of a purchase of $30 or more because you get a specific coupon code and then that has an expiration date. It'll have the design window from May the 29th through June the 24th so that you can post any of your pictures of whatever designs that you make using that kit and post them in the, the uh, Softlex VIB Studio Facebook group with the hashtag turtle and enter to win a future kit. We have a little baggies of goodies. Then we have their bead stringing wire. And we've got some turtle love bead mix and then we've got some strands of beads here trying to coordinate with that and we've got stickers look at that <laughs> i love these turtle stickers and this one is pink i love it i'm gonna put it on my glove <laughs> I went through my myriad of soft flex bead stringing wire colors and pulled out the colors that I thought would kind of coordinate with this kit because this time they surprised me. They have given us a satin silver color. This is 50% softer and more flexible. You can still tie the knots. This is a 0 0.019 as, as per typical, I believe. Yeah. And then uh, the length is 10 feet on the spool here, but it's in a silver color. So it's 49 strands of wire still, but this is a really nice kind of muted. And I can see like it goes with the charms and all of that stuff. But typically when they do some kind of color like that, you get a color wire. So I pulled out some that I have to give you an example of what you can do as you move through your lives with Softlex Company. You start collecting these colors, and I'm telling you, if you don't want to use whatever's in the kit that particular time, you've got other colors at your disposal. And it's so fun because, you know, you can see over here, I've got, what, four, five, six, seven that could potentially work with this. You can purchase the bead stringing wire individually or in trios or quads. Sometimes they have those on sale, and I stock up on that time. Maybe I stock up a little bit too much because I've got like tons of wire from them. But I love it. I love every single one. Now, you can also purchase, as they are available, um, they sell out very fast though, a coordinating bead strand. If you notice over here, the Exotic Blooms has a bead strand and I purchased that separately from whatever bead mix is gonna be within the kit itself. You get a bead mix in every kit, but if you want to go the extra mile and get a bead strand that coordinates with it, you can. You get findings, you get the bead stringing wire, and usually that wire is coordinating in some way with the color family that you're gonna see in your kit. 
and then you get to do whatever designing that you want. You can post your pictures on their VIB Facebook group and then actually submit some of your photos with the pertinent hashtag like this one. And then sometimes they will actually include your designs in their SoftFlex blog. They will post it on or reshare it on their social media. So it kind of helps to get your, your work out there. And that's something else too that I love so much about SoftFlex because it's not just about their photos and their videos. They actually want to see what we're creating with their products and then they will help to promote us. So, I mean, that's a great way to get more traffic to whatever you've got going on and making sure that you're tagging SoftFlex and all that so that they can see you and then they might actually share you. And then also, you might actually win a kit. No matter if I, it's a purchase or if it's something that's gifted, I've never been unsatisfied. So, I'm just going to put that out there for you. So, it's not anything that I'm just hyping up because I get a free kit. This is my actual opinion. This is the bead mix that they work in tandem with Jesse James beads. I already love this bead. I don't know if that's ceramic or glass. It looks like it's glass. Oh, if it's a Lamport glass bead, I'm going to be so tickled. They will coordinate a bead mix and sometimes they've got charms like this looks like little seahorses. Isn't that just fabulous? They've got little tassels in there. Now, the bead mix is going to be different every time. I've been buying Jesse James beads forever, forever. Like, even when they were available in the Walmart and Joann's and all those other places, I was getting them there because you couldn't purchase them on their website. So, I've always loved them. And then, when I saw that SoftFlex was always usually partnering with Jesse James in what they put in their kits, it's a no-brainer, honey. So, we have that satin silver. That's really cool that I don't even have that because Lord knows I do think I have every color they've got. But then we've got some blue and green beads. Now these look like glass bead bicones and they've got the dark blue and that green color. There's kind of a bright green mixed in there with that teal green. These are check glass beads here in the fire polish and that has that blue color with a little light green. And look at the sparkle. Oh, man, that is so pretty. I love these beads. Then, look at this, guys. Oh, I love shells, and I really love beads that look like shells because you can work with all kinds of wild colors, or you can do something that really fits the vibe. So, this is just, you know, beachy blue, and these are check glass beads, and they're kind of a petite shell design. So that is so cute. These are called double pyramids. Now this doesn't say that it has uh, any kind of finish on it, but it looks like it does. See, it's got this kind of green. It's not quite Picasso, I don't think, but it's a check glass bead and it's not just a turquoise color. So it's got a little bit of earthiness to it and it does say turtle to me. So that was a cool, uh, cool choice. And that, I guess, mimics their shell. You get some of these little rectangle beads here that's got the turtles on it. Check glass turtle beads. I forget what the finish is on that laser etching, I think. I'm kind of bad about that. I don't really get a whole lot of beads like that. But that is really cool and they mimic that maybe Picasso vibe going there. And then look at this beautiful focal bead here. So this is a turquoise color and it's double-sided and it's one of those little fossil prints on both sides of the glass bead. You get one of these and it is a teardrop. I love this, this is so pretty. And then we get some Tierra Cast. I have missed you Tierra Cast. I love these little shells. So we have a conch shell and then these other types of shells. I can see earrings in my future and possibly a pendant. Then we have your findings. So there are some ear wires and the lobster claw clasp. And I always double check that before I actually put it on my beading wire to be sure that it works. And then we get some crimp tubes so that we can put our bracelets and necklaces together or crimp, you know, if you got bead dangles for your earrings or whatever that you want to do. Those are awesome. And these work really well with the Magic Crimper. And I think I have that. So this is the Magic Crimper. And then you can see it's just got the kind of a rounded spot you got your crimp tube on the beading wire and then you're just going to crimp it, like close it once and that actually crimps it so it grabs hold of the wire so it doesn't wiggle around or anything on you. But instead of the regular crimping plier that has the front and the back 
to be able to do your regular crimping with. With the Magic Crimper, you just go around in a circle all over your little crimp. That way it turns it into what looks like a rounded bead and it's still crimping. So it looks better than just flat crimping and it looks better than just crimping and then not using a rounded crimp cover type situation in your design. But if you just want to use the crimp, then do the Magic Crimper. There are experts at Softflex Company. I can't seem to do it yet, but I need to practice a little bit more on mine. Let's look at some of the other cool colors that I've got here as options for the satin silver. Now, I pulled out this brown, and it is, uh, I think it's a brass. Yeah, so this is a brass color. And the reason why I pulled that out is because I thought that it would really coordinate well with the turtle vibe. So, this little finish here, this Picasso or whatever, I think that would work out uh, nice if you like a more earthy kind of a color. Or if you have any type of maybe uh, turtle pendants that have some sort of brass color to it. I like that as an option. Then, obvious color choices would be like your blues and greens. This is a totally different dark blue lapis color and I think I got this when it was clearance off. So this has a nice like a peacock color to it and I thought that that might coordinate because it's got you know peacock is sort of bluey green and you can see when you bring that up oh that looks really great with that Lampart glass bead there. And again this is just on the areas where your wire might be peeking out. Now these or a blue topaz color. And this doesn't have the color on there, but I believe it's aqua. You can see that that is just lovely with all the blues and greens that you have here. So if you just want to do like white, you could do that. This is their white color, bright white. You can do this purple amethyst color. Look how pretty that is. Now the reason why I pulled the purple amethyst is, it's not in any of this color here, but look, it's in the bead mix. And then I have some green emerald color. Now emerald is my birthstone, so emerald green. You can see that there are so many colors with soft flex that is just amazing and it just makes your your jewelry designing so much more fun of everything that i got in the mystery design kit i only have these left i incorporated a lot of beads from my stash because i just i wasn't into the purple and pink vibe with the overall look of turtle but i mean i still have some beads left over i've even got a shell charm so I can make something separate with that. I just ran out of time. I just wanted to show you what I made here from the Turtle Love Kit and I made several things. I already had some of these little highlight turtles and what I did is I took my Spectrum Noir markers and kind of highlighted them with something called Sea Green. And then I took some fingernail polish and painted the little bellies or the shells rather. And I only did that on one side. And then that way I was able to incorporate them into my different necklaces and bracelets because so, I only had the one turtle set of beads here, the check glass beads. I thought that would be a good way to tie it all together. And then some of the other things like starfish and shells, they're not really in with the, the way that I think of a turtle, although there are sea turtles. I just felt like, you know, turtles are like on the green and brown and kind of lake turtles because I'm in a lake community. That's really where my mind goes. So I wanted to incorporate some of my brown beads and some shell beads. I have some river beads, some potato pearl beads. I have several things from different companies in my stash that I have incorporated in with the Turtle Love Kit. But I think overall, everything looks really nice. But these shell sets of earrings uh, and the starfish set of earrings, I just kind of went ahead and made them because I knew that they would go together easily. So as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four pairs of earrings. I have two bracelets and I have two necklaces. The bulk of the beads from my stash were involved in these pieces here and that set of earrings over here, as well as this, I guess, technically because of the highlight beads. I have some of the seashells in that turquoise blue here. And then over here in kind of an aqua tone, I have the little seahorses with the starfish glass beads. Then I have these beautiful check glass, I think they're called laser etched turtle beads. And then I've got some of the seashells from my stash along with some heart highlight beads and some of this mixed composite bead here. Okay, and then we have the turtle love. 
And this is just a mismatch of beads is what it looks like on the surface, but really I meant it that way because of Turtle and Love. So all of these colors work hand in hand. You can change them out or you can just wear them whenever you just want to have a pair of earrings. You don't have to have a necklace or bracelet, but I thought that was fun and I really like that I've got some sparkle elements in here as well as the check glass and the matte look and some texture. Next up is my turtle toggle clasp bracelet. I have some sparkly turquoise blue painted on this side of the turtle. And then on the back side is just how the turtle naturally comes on that highlight. But I thought that was super cool idea to snazz that up a little bit. And if you want that sparkly side, you can. Or if you just don't feel sparkly, one day you can turn your turtle around. These are really cute beads together. This river bead is so nice. It's like a river shell. And I got that from another company. So this is just in my bead stash. But it looked just like turtle to me. I mean, the whole thing does. I just love these beads here too because they have those markings. I thought that looked like a turtle shell. If you turn it around there. And it's just super pretty. All together, those colors work, I think. And then, of course, my turtle toggle clasp. I had some of these years ago. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to use that for this thing because why not? This one is white highlight on the turtle and then I have painted and done that, my Spectrum Noir markers so that I have a kind of a sea green, light green look on one side and then if you flip it over, you have a very faint because I didn't go ahead and do the fingernail polish like I did on this side. I just did the marker on this side. So you have a little bit of a different vibe, but it pulls the greens in there together. And I also like how it's kind of coordinating with the uh, pearl vibe here. So it just overall looks really neat. And then I have the blue and the green hearts, again, for turtle love. So here is one of the other necklaces. This one, I just felt like making something kind of fun. This has the blue highlight turtle beads, and then I've got some pearls, some highlight hearts. I made this pendant here with their little teardrop, and it marries well with the colors. I also love that little seahorse there, and because of the pattern that's on the check glass bead itself, that little fossil, or you can also say that that is a seahorse. It's whatever you want to call it. I just thought it looked really cute all together. So there's my turtles. One side of the turtle is painted like a metallic blue. And then the other one is painted with that green fingernail polish. So whichever way you want to wear it, you can. So I'm going to turn that back over to blue. I have it mixed with several beads from my stash. Here are those colorful beads. And because they had like red and orange and stuff in there, I figured I would pop some of these little touches of red as I went through the necklace. And then we have some sparkle. And I also have some of these white hearts. Now, I actually, I wish I would have put these white hearts down here somewhere because that way you could see it whenever it's on your neck. But if I ever add an extender chain to it, that will drop that down a little bit. If you have an ultra skinny neck, you're probably still going to see it, but I do not. So that would be lost on the backside of my neck. And I wasn't thinking about that because it's like 3 a.m. in the morning here. But this is a really cute necklace and I like the colors all together. Here's my main design and this uh, this little cute green turtle. I just wanted to incorporate some more of that green. So I put some of these little wavy disc beads around the large faceted bead. And that helped to pull the green turtle up into the design overall. Because I didn't have anything that was exact in the aqua vein for the turtle, I just wanted to marry all the colors together. So that's a good Tip, tip for you if you have these highlight beads because they will keep the fingernail polish or the paint if you have some kind of paint like that they'll hold on to that color for you and it won't come off i wanted to add some sparkle on there and then incorporate the green pulling the green up into the necklace because of these bicones here I've got some of those shell beads here and then the back of the necklace with the lobster claw clasp got all of the natural earthy tones to it 
but it's also got a little razzmatazz and some of the beadwork here and the shells. I just really like this overall, and I think that the potato pearls are a nice touch as far as trying to get a turtle love vibe. So I hope you love this. Here are all of my goodies for the turtle love kit from softflakes.com. I had a lot of fun making these. Um, tonight has just been a very exhausting day, so I have really kind of run out of steam. So I do apologize. I'm starting to lose my voice too. My husband's sick, so I think I'm starting to get what he's got. But I had a lot of fun with all of these different colors. I think my favorite here is the traditional, in my mind, the traditional turtle colors, but I think it's all pretty. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this with any of your jewelry making friends that might be interested in softflex.com mystery design kit or any of my videos that I have here on my channel. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a sparkle day, y'all.